At Schneider Electric Releases New Ethernet Products, you'll find common support for both Modbus TCP and Ethernet IP. We want to demonstrate the support of both networks from our PLCs to our variable frequency drives. This works with all of our Unity PLCs and our ATV61, 71, and ATV32. These are the products I'm using to demonstrate today. Now we're configured for Ethernet IP. I have a program already in the PLC. And what we can do is, uh, if you'll notice, Ethernet IP. And you'll notice the IP address 10.11 and 10.30 for the drive. So if I tell the drive to run, at 1200 RPM, you'll see the drive getting up to speed. And here we are running at 1200 RPM if I change it to 600. And then if I stop the drive. Now I'd like to, um, we're going to disconnect from the PLC and we're going to reconfigure for Modbus TCP. So the first step there is connect to the drive using SoMove Lite. SoMove Lite is a Schneider software freely available from our website. So what we'll do is we'll just configure to Modbus TCP. I'm going to go to the TCP settings and verify that we've enabled the I.O. scanner. And then I am going to um, disconnect from the drive. I'm going to reconnect just to verify that I've made those changes. So we'll look at the network settings, Modbus TCP. So I'm going to reset the drive so that we save these parameters to the RAM. So now I have a program written. Whoops, we lost communications because I turned the drive off. It's back on now. So I have a configuration already programmed for the PLC using Modbus. So I'm going to connect to the PLC. I will transfer the project to the PLC. And if life works well, we will be able to run this drive over Modbus TCP. Again, Modbus TCP 10.30 for the drive. So step one is we'll go ahead and give this drive a speed of 900 uh, RPM. I'm going to, whoops, 900 RPM. I'm going to supply the AC voltage. I'm going to get the drive ready to go. I'm going to enable the drive, and I'll run the drive. We should get up to 900 RPM. I change the speed to 1500 RPM. We'll get back up to speed, and I can dry, stop the drive. Stay tuned for further step-by-step -step videos on how to write these programs.